If you're looking to animate your MetaHuman's body, here's a quick way to get started. So I have a, a new project opened here. What we're going to do is we're going to go into our content drawer and we're going to add a new feature content pack. And we're going to use the third person content pack. Essentially what we'll do is we'll, we'll import this content pack and then we'll retarget the animations from the Manny character to our MetaHuman character. And then we can use those animations to springboard us as we're trying to set up our scene for our metahumans. So instead of having to, you know, create an idle animation from scratch or a walk animation, we can use these as a baseline to get us started. All right, so we have those imported now. Let's go ahead and close these two windows and go back to our content drawer here. So what we'll do is we'll go into our characters folder and into mannequins. And we want to look for this folder rigs. In here, you'll see that Epic has already included several control rigs and IK rigs for us in this folder, as well as an IK retargeter. So there's not a lot of work that we have to do ourselves. Most of it has been done for us. And that's why this is such a nice workflow. So what we want to do is open up this retargeter here. Okay. And right now it's it's set to retarget from our Manny character to our Manny character. So if you actually take a look inside of the MetaHumans folder, you'll see in under common, and let's go ahead and just search for IK. So you'll see that there's already an uh, IK rig created here. There's also an IK retargeter, but this is gonna would be used if you're trying to retarget from MetaHuman to another character. And we're trying to go the other direction. So. All we need is to use this IK rig here. So we'll go back to our, our mannequin retargeter and we'll switch this to the MetaHuman IK rig. And then it should pop to our, our uh, preview here already. Okay, so from there, let's just select the idle animation. Let's see what that looks like right now. So the, the MetaHuman skeleton is already supported by the, the Manny skeleton. Most of the skeleton is similar, um, just that MetaHuman has um, quite a few more bones for the hands as well as bones for the face. So the nice thing is all we have to do is we can, once we've added the third person content, we can jump right in here, select an animation. If you'd like, you can go and retarget all of these, but for the sake of demonstration, let's just retarget the idol. So what you'll do is you'll select the animation, and then you'll go to ex export selected animations. Let's drop this. Let's create a new folder under content. Let's call it cinematics. And then let's add an animation folder under there. Okay. And then I'll just leave all this uh, the same for now. We'll just export. Okay. And now we have our, our idle animation for our MetaHuman. Okay. So. Let's see what that looks like now on our MetaHuman. Let's create a new level sequence. Go add level sequence. We'll go into our, let's save it into our cinematics folder. Create a new folder in here. And let's call that test idle animation. Okay. And then we're going to track our MetaHuman in our sequencer here, sequencer timeline. Okay, so it's gonna pop right into animation mode. We're actually going to delete the control rigs for the time being. Okay, and then we'll select our body and we'll go to track, animation, and then we'll search for our idle animation. And there it is. And then we can apply that. Okay, so that's essentially all we need to do. Now you can see that the animation has been applied to our MetaHuman. So instead of having to go to the marketplace or to a third party website and purchase some animations right off the bat, um, you can just go ahead and use the third person content since it's supported directly on the MetaHuman skeleton. So that about does it for this video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.